Hello guys, Crisp here, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti in Assassin's Creed Mirage. This one is the Asus Rockstar X version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I will actually overclock it a little bit here, okay? Plus 150 megahertz on the core clock and plus 250 megahertz on the memory clock. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU-Z. It has four gigabytes of GDDR5 and it released in 2016. And over on the left, preparing it with a Ryzen 7 5700G and 16 gigabytes of RAM, 3200 MHz in dual channel. You can also see 1050Ti right here, then let's get right into it, shall we? First up, let's go over the settings. I'm starting at 1080p resolution. We're also gonna test 900p and 720p using the low settings here, as you can see, TAA on native, and we're also gonna test it out using some FSR2 a little bit later. So I played for about like an hour, progressed into the story, got my Assassin's Creed suit right here very beautiful of course and i actually did all of that on the gtx 1050 ti i forgot to synchronize actually so i'm gonna go back up there once again and uh, you know what it was playable all the way through i actually played at 1080p with low settings and fsr enabled it's never dropped from 30 frames per second guys and that is just insane okay for a 2023 triple a title to be played playing at 30 plus FPS all of the time at 1080p low with FSR, which looks very good in this game, by the way, is insane. Almost all of the AAA titles that released this year were completely unplayable at 1080p on a GTX 1050 Ti, and even at 720p, it struggled a lot. But nope, Assassin's Creed runs absolutely fine. Well, not absolutely, that would be like 60 frames per second. But it is playable. It doesn't really stutter too much. There are some frame time spikes here and there sometimes throughout the gameplay, but it's not game breaking whatsoever and doesn't bother me too much. And I'm usually very bothered with stuttering. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just, I, I, I'm a little bit speechless. And even here you can see with vegetation and stuff, it's only dropping into the thirties. And this is native resolution. We're not even using FSR yet. Like what? Are you crazy, dude? It also looks okay at this resolution and settings. You know, 1080p is fine in this game. It looks reasonably sharp with the TAA and 60% sharpness. Um, if you enable FSR, it's going to be a little bit softer, slightly more pixelated as well, but it overall looks great. Still, I just think that some of the textures, especially like round textures right here, look pretty terrible. Uh, but yeah, we, we shouldn't really increase that setting a lot because we're already VRAM limited almost. Water effects are very intensive in this title as well, as we've seen with the 3060 Ti video. And it only drops into like the mid 30s at the lowest here. That's, I mean, how many of you expected to come into this video? and find Assassin's Creed Mirage, the new Assassin's Creed title in 2023 to be playable. Good job, Ubisoft. I just got to say that, okay? <laughs> I don't know if the story is good or not. I've only played it for about an hour and a half total so far. But yeah, in terms of optimization, who would have thought that Ubisoft would have the best optimized games in 2023? The world is upside down, basically. <laughs> <laughs> also, I find it very interesting that one of the main characters in this game is called Roshan. Roshan is, is the name of the big boy in Dota 2. <laughs> oh, hi! Oh, no! Okay, why? Why? Well, I did nothing. Uh, maybe it's because I am going into the round city right here. Ooh, much more vibrant, the color here. I like it. The blues and the greens is... Ah, that's so annoying, actually. <laughs> But yeah, look at this, looking great. I really like the emerald tone there on the rooftop of that little Taj Mahal looking thing. <laughs> Let's uh, do it with some FSR2 on quality here. Make things a little bit blurrier as you can see. Of course, those textures are still loading some of them at the distance. Yeah, the LOD is not really that great, but it's low settings after all. And now we're getting 50s and 40s. I'm gonna increase the sharpness a little bit further though. I think it looks a little too soft for my taste. Still on a smaller monitor, it will probably look really, really good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty all right. A little bit pixelated when you move. That's characteristic from FSR, of course. Uh, but it's it's not really bothering too much. It's not too 
emphasized like in Force Broken, for example. <laughs> this looks very good still, and I have been playing like this uh, for the past hour or so, using benches. Okay, can I, can I, can you go away? I, I know I can use benches now. Also, it feels way smoother right now with 50-something FPS, or 50 average FPS, actually, instead of dropping into the 30s. I guess you don't really need, like, 40-plus FPS all of the time, which is what we're getting right now, but the added smoothness with the slight um, image quality loss from FSR is probably worth it, in my opinion, in this particular title. I mean, it's probably one of the best implementations. I just wish that we could disable the chromatic aberration. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> because chromatic aberration is very noticeable in this game, and whenever you are using upscalers, FSR, XESS, or DLSS, it's emphasized. Once again, you can see it very well around the eagle there. It has some light color fringing at the edges of everything, basically. And it can be annoying, but again, I am playing this on a very big monitor, and on a smaller monitor, those things will not be as noticeable. So, this is good. I mean, I, th I, this is probably how I'd play this game. Again, this is how I've been playing it, and it's, this is how I would choose to play it. Let me try it with, like, balanced FSR2 to see if we can achieve, like, 60 frames per second here. Yeah, not yet. It starts looking a little bit more pixelated, a little bit softer as well at the distance. However, it still doesn't look terrible. You know, some games do look really bad with balanced FSR at 1080p resolution. This isn't one of them. So if you have like a 21-inch monitor or lower, like 15-inch on laptops and stuff, this might be a very good idea to play like this, guys. Let me try performance FSR next. This should kill the image quality a bit. Yeah, okay. Now it's it's a little bit too far on the upscaler side of things. I think it's upscaling from like 540p or so. It's enough for us to get 60 frames per second sometimes. Not all of the time, though. Uh, but it certainly feels smoother. But yeah, I think the image quality loss isn't really worth it right now. And given that this isn't a first-person shooter, I, I, I wouldn't have a problem playing with 30+. plus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Kill this bastard. Also, I I disabled the, the blood because YouTube, you know, it's more family-friendly right here. It's just we're, we're having fun fighting these guys and actually playing with them. Yes, playing. Let's set it back to TAA native. So this is native resolution once again. But now let's drop it down to 900p res. Here we have it. This is native 900p resolution with the low settings and TAA native as well with 90% sharpness and... All right, looking good. Still, we didn't gain a ton of FPS compared to 1080p native resolution, unfortunately. But there is some little bit of extra smoothness to be had by lowering the res. And if you are one of those people, I guess, lucky enough to have bought a 900p monitor with GTX 1050 Ti instead of a 1080p monitor, I mean... I wouldn't really say lucky because 1080p does look better, but you can play many more games at 900p with this GPU than you can at 1080p with better performance, of course. So, yeah. And obviously, if you're playing at 900p on a native 900p monitor, it will look sharp and detailed and not too blurry and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, for those of you with 1080p monitors, I wouldn't drop the resolution. I would just play around with FSR. It looks a little bit sharper than dropping the res. But if you have 900p monitor, you're gonna have a great time in Assassin's Creed Mirage, my friends. I don't care if games run in older engines as long as they look good or decent enough and as long as they perform well and then don't stutter all over the place. Also, on the 3060 Ti, I actually saw more stuttering issues than in this GPU. I guess that's because of the high settings being broken somehow because I didn't test low with that card. All right, so we are out of the round city, so we stopped seeing some vegetation, some greenery and stuff. Eh, don't like that too much, you know. I really liked the colors in that city a lot more than here, but it's fine. That's a little bit of a fall. <laughs> the closest thing you can find to a forest, actually, <laughs> here in this place. A couple of little stutters there, kind of like the 3060 Ti videos, stutters. Um, yeah, a lot of vegetation here, getting 50s. That is not bad, dude. 
Where's my ride, by the way? Where's my camel? Come over here, boy. I, oh, there he is. There he is. That's my boy. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm gonna call you Toe. It's the... Yeah, the camel. So now that we are with Toe, we should definitely find Jack, right? I haven't really found any cats in this big city yet, unfortunately. I wonder if they eat cats or something. I sure hope they don't, because everybody knows that Jack is the savior of all the games. Because there are so many Jacks here, this game is actually well optimized. <laughs> Can we achieve 60 FPS? with FSR2 on quality. Let's find out. And, oh yes we can, it's touching 60. It is going beyond 60. Oh, good stuff guys. Oh, why can't I pick up the codex thingy? This is still looking really nice with 90% sharpness and quality FSR2 at 900p. It will look way better of course on a native 900p monitor. So if you have that, Good for you, because this way you can get 60 FPS average on a 1050 Ti. Uh, it depends on where you are, of course, if you are out of cities, it's going to perform a little bit better. Inside of cities, it's dropping into the lower 50s, mid 50s at times. But it's not bad. Once again, it, it's not stuttering. It looks decent. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, I'm going to bump our head. Okay, no, never mind. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Let's go. Yeah, stop stop hitting my toe. Come on. <laughs> right over here, dropping into the 40s. Getting pretty intensive with all of these people here running around. Some vegetation as well. Some good color, vibrancy and stuff. But yeah, I guess the lowest FPS that you'll see using these settings probably like 45 or something like that, which is extremely good once again for a GTX 1050 Ti. Okay, now it's down to 720p resolution, low settings. Let's disable FSR for the moment, set it to TAA native. And here we have it, 50 something FPS, slightly better than FSR2 with 900p res. Oh boy, I am low HP, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, heal myself a little. Yes, thank you very much. All right, so if you don't mind playing at 720p, you can have an even better experience, guys. Why did, why, why? <laughs> All right, let's fight these guys. There we go, good stuff. Uh, not, not fight these guys, let's play with them, of course, because they're very nice people here. Yep, come on. There we go, there we go, good stuff. Lovely guys, oh, even here where it dropped into the 40s at 900p, it's dropping into the low 50s at 720p and it doesn't look terrible, that's the thing. There are some games out there at the moment, some newer titles, recent ones, that look super, super blurry or pixelated, usually very blurry at 720p resolution. This one, since you can actually adjust the sharpness um, on top of TAA, it looks pretty good. I mean, there is some noisy effect around characters moving and stuff like that, but it's minor. Such a lovely performance to see and such a lovely view and sunset right now as well, guys. That's a nice ending for this video, although we haven't really tested FSR2, so let's get to it. <laughs> so, of course, FSR2 on quality at 720p for those of you who really, really must have 60 plus FPS all of the time. Yeah, it starts looking a little bit rough because it's way more shimmery now than it was at native resolution with the TAA. But hey, it's still seeable, way more seeable than a lot of other games out there. And it's getting 70 frames per second. That's 70 FP, 70 plus so far. <laughs> okay, 69 right there. 69 is great, awesome stuff. Um, can I go to that little area with the blue flowers? I don't know where it is anymore. <laughs> I'm lost, guys. It's a huge city as well. Oh, hello, little donkey from Shrek. How's it going? Looking for him. You're a little bit bugged out, buddy. <laughs> I think donkeys might be new to Assassin's Creed titles. That's why uh, the bugs happen a little bit. Yeah, look at the lighting right now. You can see torch lighting up things and stuff. Looking way better than previously. And we're back to this place right here. And it is almost night time. So it's time for us to go, my friends. It still drops into the 50s. Unfortunately, you can't really get that 60 plus FPS experience all of the time. But it works extremely well. 
and I would actually stick to 1080p at low settings with FSR2 quality. I think that's the perfect sweet spot for most people running a 1050 Ti. And if you have smaller monitors, of course, use your native resolutions or with FSR. Thank you very much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one very soon. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.